the blog export portfolio. From now I'm going to go through and give you a short walkthrough on how to use the blog export portfolio from the perspective of a student. This is our demonstration course. So let's enter our course and we just have a number of activities that we could export entries to our blog from. The first of these is an online text assignment, then we have a forum, and here we have a glossary post. So let's look at our online text assignment. We already have a submission which we created earlier, and this is a submission here. Uh, we have a passage of text, some of the text is formatted, and we also have an image which is an inline file within that text area. Let's click on export to portfolio and we only have one portfolio enabled in this course that is the blog export portfolio and the settings that are available to us here are the post heading where we can set what would be the what will be the blog entry title and here we have the privacy settings so will this blog entry be public or will it be private and here we have the edit after export setting. If this is checked when we continue on to our portfolio after the export process has finished we can go straight to the edit screen for that uh, entry in the case where we know we're going to have to change it or we, where we want to add some notes. Let's leave the defaults as they are for now and go through to the next screen. This is a summary page and we can see we have uh, post heading uh, privacy setting and our e edit after export settings and they are as we set them previously. When we confirm or when we continue on to the next page the export is actually executed and we have two options either to return to where we were which was viewing the assignment submission or to continue on to our portfolio. Let's go and have a look at the portfolio and see how our entries were exported. Okay and here we have our blog user blog user 3 and only one entry at the stage which is the one we've just exported and here the text has come through, the formatting also has come through and our inline image is also there. So that's wonderful, so that is actually working there on uh, an assignment submission. Let's go through and have a look and see how uh, some of the other activities in that course will be exported. So here we have a forum post, or a forum now in this forum we have a post by the administrator and a reply by the student. Now depending on the various settings for, uh, for Moodle, uh, we can export the portfolio as a student but we may not be able to export everything within the forum. Uh, so in this particular forum post we have uh, the text and we have again an image uh, in the text area. When we export the portfolio, that image, uh, the way that the export is prepared by the forum, the, the Moodle forum, uh, that image will actually appear twice, once in the body of the text and once as an attachment after the text. But here we have the post heading again, which uh, let's try and edit it this time. Forum post that I liked, and we'll make this a private one. And we'll choose to edit this after exporting. On the next screen we can, we can confirm uh, the settings that we've just made and we press continue to execute the uh, blog export. Now let's continue on to our portfolio and we should immediately be in edit mode because we checked the edit after export button or checkbox. And we are indeed in, export, uh, in uh, edit mode. We can see we have the text that we exported and we also have here the image that was in line uh, and if we go further down we'll see that the image was actually exported twice. Um, if we worry about that, which we may, we can just simply uh, delete that here. And since there's no further attachments we can delete that here also. Save changes. And again we have uh, our finished portfolio within the blog. So there are a number of activities that we can export in Moodle to portfolios and one of the activities is the glossary. Uh, in the glossary that I prepared here we just have a text entry 
or we're only going to export a text entry. So cat, a four-legged animal, and parent, the mother or father of a child. These are the two entries in our glossary. This one has an image, this one does not. Let's just simply execute, uh, simply export this text text portfolio, uh, text glossary entry. Uh, here we're given the option to choose from the available export formats, but there is in fact only one. Um, we don't have much control over this, so there's really nothing to select. Uh, we have our settings here, we'll leave those as defaults. We'll continue. And again, we'll continue on to our portfolio and just check that the entry arrived as we expected. And indeed it did. In fact, uh, the export process has formatted that entry for us. Uh, this was actually formatted by the glossary itself before it uh, handed on the uh, information to the blog export portfolio. Also here you'll notice the forum does that also. Uh, it adds some formatting to uh, the data before it, before it passes it on to the portfolio for export. So you can see here we have our three uh, entries that were exported to the blog export portfolio, by the blog export portfolio, from the various Moodle activities that support portfolio exports.